For centuries, Barbary pirates from Northern Africa had been capturing ships and enslaving citizens around the Mediterranean Sea and beyond. The Barbary states comprised of Algiers, Tunis, Tripolitania and Morocco. Although Morocco was independent, the other three states lay under Ottoman control. However, their leaders acted somewhat independently. By the late 18th century, their power was dwindling, but European countries still feared the pirates and offered them tribute in return for peace. So, when America achieved its independence, their ships were no longer protected and US ships were quickly captured by Barbary pirates. The Americans ended up paying over a sixth of their national budget to end the Algerian captivity crisis and towards tribute for free passage through the Mediterranean. This crisis resulted in the creation of the US Navy and a resentment of the North African states. From 1798 to 1800, the Americans fought revolutionary France in the quasi-war at sea, which gave their new navy valuable experience. And then, in 1801, when Thomas Jefferson became president, the Pasha of Tripoli, Yusuf Karamanli, demanded that he should be paid as much tribute as the other Barbary states. Jefferson declined this, so war was declared in May 1801. The American Navy was dispatched without Congress having voted, meaning there was no declaration of war, but the conflict did have the backing of Congress. Once in the Mediterranean, they met up with the Swedish Navy, who were already fighting the Tripolitans themselves, and together they blockaded Tripoli. But this proved ineffective and the blockade was soon stopped. There were a couple small naval battles in 1801 and 1802, but they too proved indecisive. In October 1803, the US ship, the Philadelphia, ran aground and was captured by the Tripolitans. The Americans were unwilling to see the ship used by their enemy, so the following February, they launched a daring raid into the harbor of Tripoli and set the Philadelphia on fire before fleeing. Then, with reinforcements, the Americans were able to effectively blockade Tripoli again, and in mid-1804, the Americans bombarded Tripoli Harbour, but their fire ship, Intrepid, was destroyed before it could inflict substantial damage. So, the Americans changed tactics. They learned that Yusuf Karamanli had exiled his own brother in order to become Pasha. So, Marines landed in Alexandria, in Egypt, gathered a group of about 500 mercenaries and marched on land with the intention of capturing Tripoli and replacing Yusuf Karamanli with his brother. In late April 1805, they arrived at and successfully captured the city of Derna. Karamanli, now facing the prospect of an invasion of Tripoli, sued for peace. The Americans agreed to pay the ransom for all the hostages that had been taken, but would no longer pay tribute. However, soon after the war, in the chaos of the Napoleonic Wars in Europe, US shipping was attacked once again, this time by the Algerians. But by this time, the Americans were focused on tensions with the British in North America and eventually the War of 1812. Knowing this, the emboldened Algerians refused the ransom payments and declared war on the US in 1812. It was only in 1815, when America ended its war with Britain, that President Madison dispatched the now large American Navy to North Africa. They arrived in June and quickly defeated the Algerians in naval battles and forced them to pay reparations. Now, America had free passage throughout the Mediterranean. Also, in the aftermath of the Napoleonic Wars, the European powers agreed to suppress the pirates. The British were the first. They tried to free European slaves in Barbary states, which resulted in the bombardment of Algiers in 1816. The power of the Barbary piracy dwindled over the next couple decades, and eventually in 1830, the French annexed Algeria, effectively ending Barbary piracy forever.